Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Noble Credit, and today we got some mail. That's right. We got some mail. We got some mail. We got some mail. We got some mail. Today I'm going to be unboxing two cards that's a part of my in game setup for credit cards. And active duty military, definitely listen up because you might end up in this position one day if you do what I've done. So let's take this one card at a time. So let's start with this US Bank credit card. But which card is it? I mean, it says so on the cover, but let's see. Let's pull this out. US Bank, Reserve. And let's go ahead and toss this. Now, package says, welcome. All right, it's looking a little familiar. If you're familiar with the channel, this is looking a little familiar. All right, it says, welcome to the US Bank Altitude Reserve. Now let's go ahead and find the card. It's right there. The US Bank Altitude Reserve. This card may look a little familiar to you because I unboxed a US Bank Altitude Reserve in 2022, in about the summer of 2022, September timeframe. So you might wonder, did you get a second US Bank Altitude Reserve? Yes, yes I did. But why? Let me get to the other card and then I'll give you the reasoning behind it. But first we got some pamphleted information. I'll give you a little bit of a rundown, but I have an unboxing video from back then and you can go check that out and I'll put a card for that, but that goes through all the benefits as well. But the main benefits of the card are 5X back on prepaid hotels and car rentals booked directly in the Altitude Reward Center, 3X on eligible travel purchases and mobile wallet spending on Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay, and 1X on all other eligible purchases. And then the most important one is you get up to $325 in annual credits. You get reimbursed for eligible travel purchases and dining, takeout, and restaurant delivery purchases. There's an up to $100 in statement credits to reimburse your application fee once every four years for TSA pre-check and global entry. And then you get complimentary priority pass membership. There are also no foreign transaction fees on this card. And that's the US Bank Altitude Reserve. So moving on to the next card, this one. Let's open it, let's see what it is. It's a Bank of America card, clearly but we gotta see what this card is. So. It's looking like the famous Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite credit card. So let's see what else came with the card. We can go ahead and toss this. We got a little pamphlet with the benefits and rewards. And then we have some important documents disclosed. And looks like there's a little slip in here telling me that there is a sign up bonus. Earn 75,000 bonus points when I spend $5,000 in the first 90 days of having the card. The most important thing that comes from this part is it tells me the credit score that I was approved with. Now I pulled Experian and it says I have a 795, but you can get approved with a much lower score. I'm not saying you can be in the 600s and get approved. I'm just saying you don't have to be at a 795 to get approved like me. Oh, and then it tells me my credit limit for this card. So for the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite card, my credit limit is Drum roll, please. $26,400. All right, let's put all this back. And then let's toss that. <laughs> all right, two cars, let's talk about it. Why did I apply for the US Bank Altitude Reserve card and the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite? Well, ladies and gentlemen, although I am in the end game of my credit card journey, I still can benefit from getting more credit cards. Here's why. As an active duty service member, I do not pay any annual fees on US Bank personal credit cards. As an active duty service member, I do not pay any annual fees on Bank of America credit cards. So it is in my best interest to get as many of these cards as I can. Now I already have a US Bank Altitude Reserve. I already have a Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite. So what does that mean? That means instead of getting just a $325 credit every year for travel with the US Bank Altitude Reserve, now I get $650 in travel credits with the US Bank Altitude Reserves. Instead of getting a $300 travel credit with the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite and $150 lifestyle credit with the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite, now I get a $600 travel credit with the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite and a $300 lifestyle credit with the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite. So I stack all of these benefits and when it's only one, 
it might not seem as significant, but when these benefits start stacking, now we're talking. Now we're talking about easily getting thousands and thousands of dollars of benefits from these premium credit cards. And for those of you who are active duty military and wish to do kind of what I do, I encourage you to watch the podcast episodes where I talk about this extensively. I talk about strategies extensively so that you can make the best decisions for the long term and also the short term. Another question you may have with getting these credit cards is, am I eligible to get the sign up bonus for both of them? The answer is yes. There's nothing barring me from getting the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite sign up bonus. It's not like American Express. It's a once in a lifetime rule. No, I can get this sign up bonus again. And there's nothing barring me from getting that US Bank Ultra Reserve sign up bonus. So I am currently working on two pretty large sign up bonuses. So this card, this is actually the old Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite that I got last year. The new one, which looks the exact same, is currently with player two because we got a lot of sign up bonus spend to make in order to get these bonuses. So one of the things about having such a large sign up bonus that I have to do is because I'm a frugal person, sign up bonuses encourage me to buy things that I actually need. But maybe I've been holding off. Maybe I've been holding off on getting an oil change. Maybe I can prepay my car insurance, things like that. Maybe I've been holding off on getting a shelf. So the things that I really need to buy, sign up bonuses encourage me to make that spend. And also, I have a little trick with this sign up bonus because it's so large. I have a little trick of something that I will do in order to get it that you can easily do. But I need you to subscribe to the channel and then tune in when I go live because I'm going to be talking about a strategy in order to get a large sign up bonus when you may not necessarily spend that amount of money in 90 days. Two credit cards unboxed, the US Bank Altitude Reserve and the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite. We got some sign up bonuses to get to. I've been Noble Credit. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. Also, for all your American Express cards, Chase cards, Discover cards, City cards, Capital One cards, any other cards that you're interested in, please use the link tree in the description to get the cards. I really appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it helps support the channel. All right, we got some money to spend. We out. Peace.